Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis has suggested legislation that will shield state citizens from the dangers of a central bank digital currency, CBDC, and any resulting rise in government monitoring. The likelihood of increased government monitoring and a loss of personal privacy are only two of the issues involved with a central bank digital currency that Governor DeSantis has voiced his concerns about. He has also claimed that the usage of CBDCs would endanger the integrity of the financial system and might cause inflation. He said that today's announcement will protect Florida consumers and businesses from the reckless adoption of a centralized digital dollar, which will stifle innovation and promote government-sanctioned surveillance. Florida follows Texas steps to prevent the issuance of CDBCs. The latest example of a state acting to resist perceived threats from the federal government in reaction to the probable issue of a CBDC is Governor DeSantis' proposed legislation. In 2021, other states will have acted on these assets, including Wyoming and Texas. In May 2021, Texas approved a legislation that prohibits governmental bodies from requiring people to submit their identifying information in order to access or use digital currency. The law also forbids the authorities from seizing digital currency unless they are connected to criminal investigations. Similar to this, Wyoming approved a bill in March 2021 providing a legal framework for the ownership and usage of digital currencies and recognizing them as property. Moreover, this law contains clauses intended to protect user privacy, such as a ban on disclosing personal data regarding digital currency transactions. Before we continue, I want to remind you to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you have any questions or thoughts about the topics we're discussing, please leave them in the comments section below. We love hearing from our viewers and we'll do our best to respond to as many comments as possible. Now, let's get back to the video. In contrast to President Joe Biden's executive order from 2022, the steps performed by Texas and Wyoming are akin to what Governor DeSantis wants to accomplish in Florida. According to Reuters, this decision requires the government to assess the benefits and drawbacks of creating a central bank digital currency. The Biden administration's suggestion of a federally sanctioned CBDC would diminish the importance of community banks and credit unions in the American financial system, according to DeSantis' plan. This is due to the possibility that CBDCs might have less market lending power because they would be directly liable to the federal government rather than a licensed financial institution. The proposed law from Governor DeSantis could have political motivations in addition to protecting consumer data. DeSantis is one of the front runners for the Republican nomination for president, along with former President Donald Trump, despite the fact that he has not yet made an official announcement. The battle might be a race between the two conservative leaders, according to a CNN report. That's all for today's video. We hope you found this video informative and helpful in staying up to date on the latest developments in Bitcoin and other digital currencies. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions on the topics we discussed in this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.